Hey, Tropical Tim in the Philippines. How's everyone doing? So today, we're gonna talk about uh, different forms of transportation here in the Philippines. There is, of course, walking. We know about that. And then, of course, we have the tricycles. That's another form of transportation. We have the bicycle. We have the motorcycle. Of course, we have automobiles. We have the pedicycle, which is not a tricycle, but it's more of a bicycle <laughs> uh, that will transport you to wherever you want to go. Then, of course, we have the Philippine Jeepney. And there's vans, of course. Okay, so with all the different um, types of transportation that we have here in the Philippines, uh, the one I wanted to uh, show everyone today is one that's not really uh, discussed a whole lot, and that is the Philippine Kalesa. That's right. This is a Philippine Kalesa, and we're going to go ahead and take a ride in it. Let me give you a little background on the Kalesa first. It was first introduced by the Spanish in the 18th century. Uh, it was usually reserved for nobles and high-ranking officials. Uh, it's still used today, uh, in mostly in the tourist areas, but not as much. Uh, they can be very colorful and a lot of fun to ride in. Uh, let's see. Um, now, they used to be bountiful, especially in Manila, um, uh, during the, the first U.S. occupation. Uh, Manila was basically teeming with them. Um, but the devastation of uh, uh, World War II saw their decline in popularity. The driver is called a cuchero. And uh, his name is Rudy. Hi, Rudy. How are you? Rudy's been doing this for 20 years. He's been driving uh, Kalesa, and he normally goes up to, what do you call it? Where he goes? Intramurals, where the high tourist traffic is. And tourists will come in and uh, get on board and go for a leisurely ride and check out all the tourist areas. Um, the horse's name is Tauntaun. This is Tauntaun. And he's going to give us a little ride here real quick. He's six years old. And generally, the horses can go for about 20 years. Oh. Tauntaun is relieving himself. We'll just wait for him to get finished. <laughs> and so that's about it. This is the Kalesa. Let's go for a ride with Rudy. Now, of course, uh, don't expect to get anywhere fast using the um, horse and carriage or the Kalesa, because um, that's not going to happen. This is uh, meant for just a nice leisurely stroll. Um, they can also haul some goods uh, if somebody wants to hire them for that. And Tauntaun is just cruising now. Just before we uh, loaded up and headed out, they um, went ahead and put new shoes on him. Fed. They, fed. Yeah. And they fed him. And ask him about what he, what he makes it on day average. Kuya, magkano daw ang na ano mo pag sa isang araw? You are this commission only for the driver uh, 6,000 commission only one day for the uh, 1.5 1.5 and that's even after um, so he says he makes on average about 1,500 a day now does that include the maintenance and, f and food for the horse 
Kasama raw ba yun? No, because the uh, only for the driver only. For the manager is uh, yeah, Oh, okay. So that's that's his money that he gets. The uh, the manager or owner of the horse ensures that the uh, horse is well taken care of, and uh, so um, actually that's that's a pretty good living here. Uh, that's not too bad. A little bit of a traffic jam. So it doesn't matter what vehicle you're riding, you are absolutely going to be. Uh, subjected to Tondo and Manila traffic. Now we have a little clearance and we're off again. And this is really nice. Um, this allows you to, at your leisure, see the sights and sounds of Greater Manila. Um, this, this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. And to think these things were way in abundance well before all the motorcycles and everything else uh, as I said earlier uh, th these these are heavily used um, but just the total destruction from World War II um, really saw their decline so now it's uh, they're, they're limited pretty much just to the tourist areas but again if somebody wants to hire them out for you know anything I'm sure if the price is right they'll be more than happy to uh, agree upon a business transaction. So here I am, I'm actually operating a Colesso. Check me out. Oh, shine. Hey, anybody want to ride? Hey. Hey. What do you think? How am I doing? All right, let's get him going a little bit. Come on, yeah. Hey. All right, now we're cruising. Come on, Tan Tan. Check it out. Tropical Tim in the Philippines driving a Kalesa. How about that? Hey. Hey. Come on, come on. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Nice driver. This is awesome. Awesome. Hey, hey. Anybody want to ride? Oh. Check it out. Woohoo! Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. We're gonna, we're gonna stop it right here. Because Rudy's gonna go to work now. Thanks, Rudy. That was awesome. I really appreciate that. There you go. So that was the Kalesa here in the Philippines. This was my horse, Tonton. And uh, he did a great job. I hope you all enjoyed the ride we took. And after me and Tonton have a hard day of riding, we both like to cool out with an ice cold San Miguel beer. San Miguel beer. Oh, I got the pot. Peace out, everyone.